Alright guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to take a look at the add-on called Rigid Body Generator. It's available for free, I'll put the link in the description down below. Now this essentially lets you add rigid body dynamics to bones very easily. In fact, there used to be a program very similar for Blender 2.7 that I actually used in production a couple of months back. And it's great that this has been updated to Blender 2.81 because going back a version to 2.7 Oh, it just completely frazzles my brain. So we'll take a quick look at the add-on, and in traditional fashion, we'll delete the default cube. Now obviously the first thing that I need is a bone. So I'll press Shift and A, and I'll add in an armature. Now I'm going to quickly rotate this bone. So I'll quickly jump into edit mode, I'll select the bone, and I'll rotate it 90 degrees, so I'll hold Control to snap it. So I'm going to be a little bit lazy here, I'm going to press 1 to jump into front orthographic view, I'm going to select the tail of the bone and I'm going to press E to extrude. Now I can constrain this to the axis by pressing X. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select this bone. I'm going to go to Armature and I'm going to go to Subdivide. And I'm going to sub subdivide the number of cuts up. And that just gives me more bones. Now one thing you should be aware of, if you check out your armature, you may notice that the order is backwards. And this is what happens when you subdivide a bone. You're probably actually better manually extruding each bone out. But, we're being lazy here, so let's quickly jump into pose mode. So I can select pose here, or I can come up to the menu and go into pose mode. So I'm going to select all the bones apart from the root bone. I'm then going to open up the properties tab, I can press N on the keyboard if I'm being extra lazy, and I'm looking for the rigid body tab. Now we have several different options, add passive, add active, add joints, add active and joints, and that's the one that I'm interested in. And that essentially makes the bones active and it adds joints in between. And you can see here it brings up a dialog box on the left hand side and we can change things like the shape. So for example this is set as a capsule, we can make that a box or whatever and we can play around with some of the constraints. But I'm not interested in that, I'm being extra lazy today and I'm going to go into object mode. So check out what happens when I hit play. Pretty cool, great if you're doing something like spider legs or something. And keep in mind this is also dynamic so we can hit it with things. So I'm going to select the end capsule here, I'm going to come to the physics tab and you can see the rigid body is set as active. I'm going to make this passive and let's see what we get. We now have this cabling system, pretty cool to be honest. Great if you're wanting to maybe do wires dangling across. So let's say I want to actually break the cable in half. Well if I select the cube, this is classed as a joint. You can see here joint.armature bone005. And we also have a checkbox for breakable. Now we can change the rigid body constraint anytime we want, so we can change it from a generic spring to perhaps fixed. But I'm going to make this breakable, and let's see what happens when it's on 10. Nothing, and that's because of the threshold. Now if I lower the threshold, it'll break all by itself. But I actually want an object to break it, so I'm going to add in a quick object, so we'll just add in something like a UV sphere, why not? Let's move this here, let's move it up, and let's make this a rigid body. Let's reset the timeline, let's see what we get now. Now the threshold is still too high. Now I could drop the threshold, or I could cheat, and I could put the mass of the object up, so I'm going to make this pretty heavy, and check out what happens. And that's pretty much the basics of the rigid body gen add-on. It's very great for quickly setting up things like this. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it costs you nothing. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Peace.